we've flown the F-35 for one year now uh, in uh, Norway and the aircraft uh, does really well also in uh, winter conditions. Uh, uh, we had here uh, a test pilot that was part of the, the breaking shoot um, uh, testing and that was done up in Alaska. So we've now a uh, very good experience with the uh, breaking shoot uh, on the wind, icy uh, runways. Um, and we've had that on the F-16 and, and we're very glad that we have that on the F-35 as well because of the conditions that we have uh, in Northern Europe. I've never flown with it, yeah, okay. but what uh, my colleagues tell me is that there's no sign you, you don't really know that it's there. Uh, it's insignificant, uh, both to performance and handling. Uh, I've not heard anything uh, either way. Uh, I know that there has been one design change uh, to the pilot shoot, but other than that, uh, it has uh, worked on every single uh, opening. We, Norway had one uh, Norwegian test pilot that followed the whole uh, program, uh, and he was part of the test pilot uh, team that actually uh, uh, was flying and, and testing the shoot. Yeah, we use it regularly. Uh, uh, for multiple or reasons. Is it or is it just like it's it's like it's testing? both both for testing and if it's slippery, but also uh, to get the pilots acquainted with using it. Oh. That the shoot is not an emergency thing. The shoot should be a natural part of landing an aircraft. So uh, whenever people come back to Norway, if they haven't landed with shoot before, they'll test the shoot. On the F-16 in the winter, uh, I would probably pop uh, 50 to 60 shoots every winter. So it's not. It's just normal. It's normal. It's normal.